and welcome to this short video that will aim to demonstrate how shared documents are used in a special educational needs department, SEND. There are two main aims to the following video, the first being demonstrating the uses and implementation of shared documents across SEND, and secondly, demonstrating how to assign tasks to individuals within a shared document. Before I move on to aim number one, anyone that's unfamiliar with a shared document this refers to any online document, such as a Google Sheet, a Google Slide, or Google Doc, that can be viewed and or edited by two or more people simultaneously. Within the SEN department I work at, we use this for a number of different purposes. One of these being EHCP reviews, whereby a shared document, usually in the form of a Google Sheet, will be shared with the teaching staff and support staff of that particular child who can then in turn fill out the review in relation to that child's targets. Secondly, collecting qualitative data on EHCP students. This can relate to data such as behaviour or well-being information. So for example, I work with an EHCP student who often displays angry behaviour. So I I shared a Google Sheet document with all the teaching and support staff for that particular child who have then um, been very good at filling it out on any instance where that child has shown or displayed this behaviour, which I can then use to deliver a one-to-one -one session with that child. So it can make them more self-aware of all the instances that have caused them to be angry. Uh, thirdly, a behaviour log. So this refers to a shared Google Sheet to all members of the SEN department who can track and monitor any misbehaviours of children with special educational needs who may not be suited to traditional methods of discipline and therefore it can be dealt with in a slightly different approach by the leaders of the SEN department. Furthermore, during the lockdown period, Google Sheets have played an important role in um, recording the well-being and ability for students to access distance learning from home um, through the use of yeah, Google Sheets, as I mentioned. So key workers of those EHCP students have been ringing home on a regular basis and all the information that they gather from the phone calls has been added to a Google Sheet which can then be viewed by the SEN department coordinator. So if I show a practical example of one of these three purposes that I've mentioned, if we take number one, EHCP reviews for instance, and we look at this Google Sheet that I've created earlier, this is a template of an EHCP, EHCP review we use within the school, which contains the areas of the targets. So for example, communication and interaction, which is a general area. And within this, we have specific targets such as to respond verbally and appropriately to requests. So what you can do at this stage is you could either leave the um, Google Sheet blank for staff to fill out once you have shared it or you can specifically add in teachers initials for example if I added my initials um, for them to fill out a particular target as some targets are subject specific to English and maths where some are more generic so you could enter teachers initials for certain targets and also leave others blank for whoever to fill out on a first come first serve basis if you like once you've done this, in order to share the document with all the staff who you wish to fill out and interact with this document, you need to click the green button here, which is the share button. Okay. Currently, it's private only to me, so only I can view this document and nobody else. However, we require all the teaching and support staff of the particular EHCP child to be able to edit this document. So if I click on share, so it will bring you up to this screen. So you will need to add any uh, member of staff that teaches or supports that particular child. So in order to do that, you click on the add people and groups search bar. For example, if I click a member of staff here, 
and you would go on then to add multiple members of staff, however many members of staff are in close contact with that child. It's then imperative that you check the editor mode. If this is unchecked and you went on the viewer mode or the commenter mode, the member of staff in question would not be able to edit the document and therefore would not be able to comment and review that child's progress in their lessons in relation to their targets. Once you've done this, you can then simply write a message such as, please complete the following review. And then once you click send, all the staff that you have added here in the search bar will be notified via email, which will then allow them to access um, the EHCP review shared document, and then they can complete it accordingly. So if we then go back to our second aim of the video, which is demonstrating how to assign tasks to individuals within a shared document, so this leads on nicely from what I just spoke about in relation to sharing a document. Sometimes it may be a necessity to make specific requests or assign specific tasks to, to particular staff in relation to a target. So for example, if we look for a specific target for a specific subject, for example, if we look at this target here, which is to form all letters and numbers correctly, you may wish a maths teacher or an English teacher to complete this section. So what you may do here in the comment section or in the teacher section, you may want to add a comment. So this icon here, which looks like a speech bubble or a thought bubble, you click on that and then we add comment. And what you will need to do then is this is the important part. You need to click the at um, symbol on your keyboard and then enter that teacher's name who you require to fill in that particular section. OK, so, for example. If I just paste my name here, I'll use my name as an example. And I add at. So this is me. So whatever request. I now type up, I will then be able to see it when it's uploaded and commented. Okay. So, so if I say, please fill in the following section and provide a detailed account of the student's progress. So once you hit assign to you, okay, this means that the person you have added at the top here will know that they've been assigned a task. And once you click assign, that member of staff who you have added will receive another email and it will have the specific instructions that you have set out for them, okay? And once they open the document, they will see a small yellow uh, triangle in the top right corner of the comment box, which, um, which they then can scroll over and it will tell them their particular task for them for, to complete. And once they have done so, all they would have to do is mark as done and then that task will then be complete and you'll be notified of that as well okay um so thank you for watching this short video i hope it, you, that you found it helpful and insightful take care goodbye